Okay, so to start, I have one, two, three, four, five packages of personal tees. Well, they're either personal tees or tees that I bought to resell, but they're like individual tees. So these came, so I thought we'll open these first, and then the two boxes, that's the wholesale lot of vintage t-shirts that I'm gonna open as well. So let's start with the packages. Ooh. So this one I bought for myself, size large. I've actually wanted this tee for a while. It's so cool. Stained glass elephant liquid blue t-shirt. I think this one's like 93. Yeah, 1993 liquid blue. Nice, it's in good condition. I bought this one on eBay for myself. Cool shirt. Oh, nice. Yes, I got this one on a live Instagram auction. Paid $220 for it. It's on the old vintage Fruit of the Loom tag. And this is my favorite Lion King print. So, pretty excited about this one. Also a personal t-shirt. This one I bought to resell. It's got some stains on it that I'm gonna try to get out, but it's a very, very rare pullover. Whoa. Yeah, Adidas, Run DMC. That's epic. Pullover. Definitely got some flaws on the old Adidas tag. I think I paid $140 for it or something like that. The cool thing is I have the matching t-shirt somewhere. Do we still have that one? You found it. Sweet, there's the t-shirt. So now we have the t-shirt and the crew neck. Pretty cool. I know what this one is. I really like collecting local theme park t-shirts and he posted this one and I was like, yeah, I need that one for sure. Cause it's Bush Gardens. Bush Gardens Kumba shirt. Sweet, right? Single stitch on the old uh, HL Miller made in the USA tag. Great condition. Really nice. Okay, and then this last one, I know what it is as well. It's a trade. I did a trade for this shirt. I think I traded like five t-shirts for this one. And I bought this one more to resell because it's brand new. If it was used, I would probably keep it for myself, but because it's brand new with tags, I plan on selling it. So this is from V Broadway. Thanks for the trade, appreciate it. So you've got the vintage Mickey ink tag and the vintage liquid blue tag and the original Disney $20 hang tag. So there's the front graphic and then the back graphic is what makes this one crazy. Whoa, pretty cool. So it's a Disney villains t-shirt with all of the characters on the back. Pretty, pretty epic shirt. And to find it brand new with tags is insane. All right, that's all the personal tees and a couple to resell. So now let's jump into this lot of t-shirts. Um, like I said, I think there's around 100 shirts in here and I paid just under $9,000. So it was like 8,950 bucks or something like that. So. Let's see if it was worth it. I do know that there's one t-shirt in here that if it is in the condition that I think it's in, and if the measurements are correct, I know that there's one t-shirt in here that I value right around $2,000 for one t-shirt. So I know Callie's eyes are like, what? <laughs> so let's unbox it. Out of the box. Out of the box. All right, here we go. We'll start with the crazy shirt. Just get it right out of the way. Is that not the craziest Aerosmith t-shirt you've ever seen? It's the Aerosmith Get a Grip shirt. Size U. Large, size large. Looks like a true large. Super nice. This is a shirt that's, uh, it's replicated a lot. So it's hard to find one that's genuine. This one's definitely genuine though. Good cracking in the graphic. We've got uh, Ozzy, Marilyn Manson, Ozfest 2003. Shirt, size extra large. Got a size XL Kiss. T-shirt, this is actually a pretty rare one. Kiss graphic. There's ladies in there. <laughs> there's ladies in that graphic. Ben, there's a kiss tee. You might actually like this one, I actually got. What do we got? Super Rock shirt. Nice size on this one. I think this was 1990, so really good size on this one. White Snake, Aerosmith, Poison, super cool. Good condition. On the European tag, European fake tag. Ooh, size large. I've had this one before. I think this might actually be mine. <laughs> I'm not totally sure, but I think it, I think I might've sold this one and got it back. Same, yeah. same shirt. The person who I bought this stuff from, we've like traded the same shirts back and forth a few times. So there's probably going to be stuff in this box that you've seen before on other videos. We've got, looks like another Aerosmith shirt, size medium Springford tag. Wish it was a bit bigger, but 
Nice shirt. I have a feeling Ali's probably gonna keep that one. Pretty classic graphic, everybody knows that one. Rolling Stones, 1989 North American Tour. I think there's two of these. I don't know if it's the same one, but... Oh no, this is the Canadian Tour. So we've got the American Tour and the Canadian Tour. Another Rolling Stones t-shirt. Another North American Tour, just a different graphic. <laughs> this is Alien Sex Fiend. <laughs> I've actually never had one of these before. Single stitch, good condition, nice fade. Oh, nice. On the jerseys, extra large. Great size. Allison Chains Rooster. Look how cool this was. The guy stitched his name into the shirt. That's a true collector right there. It's it's literally stitched into the shirt. And just steals all my good shirts. I don't even listen to Allison, but I have a friend that really likes him. All good sizes so far. A couple smaller ones, but for 80s, a lot of 80s shirts. Like this is 82, 83. Judas Priest. And faded tag, but I would say small, medium. Oh, nice. I got this shirt back then. Didn't fit him. So this is one of my favorite Bulls graphics anyway. So it's like a heavy, heavy paint shirt. So. Size large. Oh wow, that Van Halen shirt. What? That's awesome. It says, there's the back. This is a Mortal Kombat tee, but it's a newer bootleg. It's dated 94, but I think this one was made in 2019. Still a super cool graphic. Sabotage. It's a cool graphic. Sabotage. Power of the Night. Got a winger shirt on the Spring Ford size large tag. Cut tag on this one, but nice Judas Priest long sleeve. Front and back shirt. It's a Defenders of the Faith one. Oh, there's a sleeve hit on it too. It says Keep the Faith. Dang, that's a crazy graphic. Snaggletooth graphic. Also a smaller one, unfortunately. I can't see the actual size tag, but it's like a medium. Getting into some pretty rare ones now. Although this one's cut. No. That Motorhead shirt, it'll still sell though. It's still a pretty desirable graphic. So even though the sleeves are cut off and the collar's cut out, it's still like, someone could rock that. I feel like the type of person that would buy that would wear it like that. Yeah. Another random Kiss shirt. It's an interesting one. Yeah. Got a Molly Hatchet, that's kind of cool. Molly Hatchet, No Guts, No Glory, 1983. Oh nice, we've had this shirt a few times. A little white snake. 1987 tour shirt. What do we got? Another Kiss shirt. <laughs> I kinda like that one, it's blue. It's blue, 84 Kiss. Actually, yeah, that one's pretty sweet. I would wear that. The tiger stripes. I was gonna say zebra. Zebra, zebra or zebra? I think it's zebra, because zebras are from Africa. And you're from Africa. And it's not X, Y, Z. It's X, Y, Z. Oh. So Z, zebra. Not Z zebra. zebra. Yeah. Right? Makes sense. Whoa. <laughs> Is this Alice Cooper? Yeah. Yeah. Alice Cooper. Trash. Trash. Pretty rare to find this shirt. Ramones. It's the brain drain one. This is actually one of my favorite tags, or it's become one of my favorite tags. I think you can get it. You just have to zoom in on it. Okay, cool. Knits. Extra large. Cheap trick, it's a good, good shirt, good size, good condition. All right, halfway through the first box. So like I said, uh, mostly band tees, music tees, but there are also some movie t-shirts in here as well and some pop culture ones. So um, yeah, we'll get to those I'm sure eventually. Bon Jovi, you give love a bad name. Good, well-recognized one there. You're supposed to sing the song when I say the lyrics. <laughs> there you go. Random South Park t-shirt, pretty cool. Dated 1998. The Great American Bash. Let the war games begin. Look at that old wrestling t-shirt. Fake. <laughs> wrestling is really like shot through the roof right now. Wrestling t-shirts. So. You see Rock, The Rock has his new um, television series. I think it's called Young, Rock, Young, Young Rock, Rock or something like that. Yeah, I've I haven't watched any of it. But. I've seen a couple episodes. It's, it's all right so far. LA Guns. Cool graphic, good size. Yeah, I tried his uh, tequila the other day. It's pretty good. Is it? Yeah, it's called like Terramana or something I like can't that. Tequila. I'm not a huge fan of tequila either, but I was like, eh, it's the rocks. <laughs> oh, wow. Man, no tag on this one, but as soon as I say it, I expect Ben to run over for it. <laughs> Although it's small, so it might not fit him, but 1986 Depeche Mode Black Celebration. That's cool. Isn't that cool? That's nuts. I don't know, Ben, it's kind of stretchy. Poison? 
look what the cat dragged in. Some really good stuff in here so far. So the way that this lot was broken up, by the way, is um, the there's a lot of like mid to high mid band shirts, and those I paid a certain amount for. And then there's, um, I believe there's like 12, 12 to 15 shirts in here that are higher, higher end. So that's why all together it came out to just under $9,000. So you can't really look at it as $90 a t-shirt because a lot of these ones aren't even, you know, they're not even worth $90 for the shirt. Um, but there's some in here that are worth four or $500, $1,000, $2,000. So it all averages out and I think it was a pretty good deal. So like this shirt, The Cure, really nice shirt. This is definitely more than a $90 shirt, right? It's probably more like, I don't know what they're going for now, maybe two, 250 on this one, because it's a good size. So keep that in mind as you're watching this video. A little Pearl Jam shirt, it's a rarer one. The tour locations in the, in the back. I really like these Monsters of Rock tees. Some of them are cooler than others, but pretty sweet shirts. 1994, Monsters of Rock. Yes. yes. World Tour, 84. I've seen them in concert. Have you really? Yep. Oh, you're supposed to just say yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Another random kiss shirt. It's an old one. This is like one of those um, like almost like iron-on graphics that they used to do back then, but it's definitely still true to age. Oh wow. Here's a rare t-shirt. Cramps. Oh, wow, it's a good size too. No tag. Again, no tag on this one, but I would say probably XL. Probably large XL maybe measurements. Oh what size is this? I don't know. If it's my size, I keep. Oh no, it's gonna be too small. Red Hot Chili Peppers, crazy graphic. Oh wow, that one's, this is an amazing shirt. I'm gonna save that one. Oh wow, that one's really good too. <laughs> There's some crazy ones coming up. What do we got, another Molly Hatchet? I had to fight to get this t-shirt, so. Did you win? <laughs> I did, I did win. Another good Motorhead, World Tour, 10th anniversary. David Bowie, Glass Spider Tour, size medium. What is it, I haven't looked. Sabotage, Ted Nugent shirt, Aerosmith, yeah. crazy ACDC North American tour shirt, 1982, really cool graphic, size large, 97, Kansas tour. All right, here's some really, really rare ones. Size, one size fits all on the Brockham tag, Jane's Addiction with the back hit, dated 1990, really nice. More of an XL. This is a size large. It is a tank, but That's cool. crazy 1986 ACDC Who Made Who tour. This one is a size medium, but I've literally never seen this graphic before. I think that it's, um, I think it was a really, really small show and it might be, it might be one of like 10, you know? Very, very rare Motorhead graphic. Never seen this one before. And then the last thing in this box, which again, if it fits me, which it might, because it's an XL screen stars tag. Yeah. Yes, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. So. That'll probably fit me, right? Yeah. Maybe I'll wear it once or twice and then sell it. Really nice graphic. Just don't eat in it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't usually do well with white t-shirts, but really good on the crispy screen stars XL. It's nice. Here we go, Pantera. Size extra large. Ooh, this is a size extra large, Ben. Probably still won't fit you, but another Depeche Mode. Music for the Masses, 1987, 88 tour. Pretty crazy one. Metallica, large giant tag. Metallica, summer 1994. I'll try to go a little bit faster, so it's not a super long video. Judas Priest, Screaming for Vengeance. We've had this one a few times as well. Did they just like mass produce Judas Priest tees? I feel like we've had a lot of them. Yeah, I mean, most, most concert t-shirts were mass produced. Um, they're just, they're rarer now because, you know, people wore them. 30, 40 years old at this point, so. Nice Van Halen, Monsters of Rock, 1988. Sisters of Mercy, and XL Brockham tag, but really boxy. Really, really boxy. Yeah. New Model Army, get me out. The Wizard Returns, on the back. What's that from? The Wizard Returns. What is that from? Random Milwaukee Bucks t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay, there were a few in here. There were like 12, I think like 12 shirts that he just threw in because I was like, I don't really want those ones. And it was like, you can just have them. <laughs> I like this one. I don't think I can show the word, but <laughs> it's not, not the movie. <laughs> Wisconsin State Bird has a bunch of mosquitoes. <laughs> oh gosh. It's actually cool. 
Yeah, that's a cool print. Metallica, newer Metallica shirt, long sleeve. It's a 2003 graphic. Speaking of Metallica, I think we just sold this shirt actually. Size extra large, super cool shirt with the map on the back. That's cool. Didn't we just sell this one, Ben? Didn't you sell this one? I think so, yeah. Yeah, got another one. Size large, Bob Seeger. Oh, oh, that's a, it's kind of a crazy kiss shirt. These are, how old are you? These are usually like 70s shirts like this. Fish, fish, huh. I feel like that's a rare graphic. 1994 State College PA. I feel like that's PSU Concert Committee. Hmm, I feel like that was probably a pretty rare show. What do we got? Size extra large. Here comes trouble, bad company. Ooh. Here's one that you've seen before, but I got it back. <laughs> I have to pay up on this one, but on the size large for the loom tag, crazy Soundgarden shirt. Yeah. There's the back. I'll let you read the back. Me the back. <laughs> damn, damn. <laughs> read it to yourself. <laughs> super, super rare shirt. Love this one. <laughs> what have we got? Another ACDC? Yeah, this one has some some running, obviously. The graphic here. You can see it. But cool shirt. Motley crew? Bad boy boogie. 1987. That's a really, really rare girls, girls, girls graphic. I've never seen it. <laughs> and it's a big size. On the signal tag, size extra large. Sammy Hagar, sold that one before too. Yeah. We've had this shirt in like a bunch of different styles. We've had it in the crew neck, we've had it in t-shirt, we've had it in raglan. Size medium, rat and roll. Doobie Brothers, farewell tour 1982. Did you see it? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. <laughs> what size? Size medium. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Callie, what are you gonna do? Nah, I don't know. That's, that's a cool one. 1997 Hanson shirt. Dang. Ready, catch. One, two, three. Nikki would be so jealous. <laughs> twisted sister, tiny twisted sister. There's that classic rat shirt. It's been cut. Cut raglan. A little Aerosmith. Tank, AT6, 1986. Oh, by the way, most of the stuff that you see is gonna be wholesaled out again. So we just don't really have the time to list everything individually. A few, a few of these pieces we will, a few of them we'll keep, but a lot of the stuff will probably be wholesaled out again. And the way that we do that is through our website. It's vtgroots.com. And you just go to that website, get on the email list, and when we drop them, we do it randomly. We'll shoot out an email, and it's like first to purchase gets them. So, size large Buffalo Bills. It's probably going to be a gift for Allie's stepdad. Size extra large Little Feet. <laughs> Rocket in my pocket. Rocket in my pocket. <laughs> I should really like that graphic. It's cool. Yeah. Bob and Brian. It's like a morning radio show shirt. Yeah, like I said, there's some in here that are just random shirts, but we're getting down now. We're almost at the point where we're gonna get into like the really expensive ones. <laughs> it's another political shirt. <laughs> Milwaukee Bucks, oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's awesome. It's an old Hershey's oh. Twizzler shirt. I really like that one. The Doughboy. Oh boy. My dad's making mouse. What does he say? Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Callie, trivia time. What's his, what's his real name? The Pillsbury Doughboy, what's his name? name? Yeah. Nope. I have no idea. Michelin man. Poppin' fresh. Poppin' fresh? Yeah. Why didn't I know that? Dream team, shirt, pocket tee, just the back hit. Interesting one. No front graphic. We've got Eagles. Yes. Eagles 1994, size XL, ACDC, World Tour 2000. I think this is Wasp. It is. <laughs> I've never seen that bad graphic before. That's pretty funny. We've got a vintage stray cats uh -huh. raglan. The hair on that cat. <laughs> That's a cool shirt, actually. A ZZ top afterburner. Yeah, it's nice. Another Metallica XO spring forward. This is the one that we just sold, actually. It had this back graphic, I believe. We've got another sadly cut motorhead shirt, but still cool graphic. Motorhead iron fist. This is another one that's kind of bleeding out. Triumph. This is a size large. Oh, nice. Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. Dragon. Is it the Enter the Dragon movie one? Bruce Lee story, yeah. 
Bruce Lee Dragon Universal tag on the bottom there. Got, oh, all sport tag. Brittany. Free Brittany. <laughs> Did you see that Free Brittany doc thing? Mm-mm. I haven't watched that yet. It's insane. That's a nice shirt. Cool graphic. Motley Crue 1987. Girls, girls, girls. A little bit tamer graphic on that. Yeah. Size medium. Who? Kids are all right. Yeah, I like that one. Guys, another Aerosmith shirt, I think. Got a grip, Aerosmith. 90s, 93, I think this one is. That one's crazy, that one's crazy, that one's crazy, that one's insane, that one's crazy. That's the craziest one. We're getting there, we're getting there. Eagles World Tour. I just saw that, did we just ship that out? I think we either shipped it or we have one for sale. Van Halen, I think we have this one for sale too right now. Yeah. Loverboy, Get Lucky Tour. Ellie might want that one. Oh, this is a... Uh, I don't think I've ever seen one of these shirts. Septic Death. Septic Death. It sounds, <laughs> sounds like a Stinky. metal band. Classic Pink Floyd shirt. This is a tool shirt. Five, six, seven more t-shirts in here. They're super crazy. I guess I'll go from like the least crazy to the most crazy. <laughs> in my opinion anyway. This one's super cool. Whoa. Yeah, what size are you? XL. Probably fit me. That's cool. Yeah. Like the blue zebra tea. You know what it reminds me of? Do you remember those um, those those gums you could get at like zebra Toys R Us? Is that what they were called? Zebra strap? I have some at home. And the wrapper, you can lick it and put it on your skin. Yeah. It's got a tattoo. Yeah. Let's do this one next. A Grateful Dead shirt. We've had this one before. Whoa. Oh, I've never had this back graphic though. I don't remember seeing that. I only had the front graphic. Yeah, we had the summer. It's a summer tour '94 shirt. Um, but I've never, I've never had, I've had this shirt with a different back graphic. This one has the Ship of Fools back graphic, which is pretty cool. Dang, that's really, really. There's sweet. turtles running. <laughs> Man, I like that one. I might keep that. This one's a bit raggedy, but it's amazing. You like your tees raggedy. Fear, oh, it's another fearless. Yeah, I have a different graphic. So I have this shirt in a different graphic. But this is the other one. Fear and Loathing, Grateful Dead shirt, 1995. Okay, let's do this one next. Size extra large. Crazy NASCAR shirt. This is the Jurassic Park one. And it has the rare Jurassic Park back graphic on it as well. Face your fear. Yeah. And it's autographed. Is it? <laughs> it's just a yeah, really, really nice shirt. I really like this shirt because I have, um, I have just like the regular version of this t-shirt and this is the Grateful Dead version of this shirt. So, oh. Max, oh, that would fit me. Dead. Yeah, so it's Max Hedrum, but this is the Max Dedrum, Grateful Dead one. The back graphic. That's actually really cool. Yeah. The back reminds me of Schoolhouse Rock. Oh yeah, it does kinda. Dang, 1987. It's amazing. 80s. It looks like you on the front. It looks like me on the front? <laughs> That's sweet. I might have to keep that one. Two more shirts. This one is a size extra large. I've actually never seen this shirt before personally, so I'm excited about it. Oh. Robocop. That's cool. Robocop in an actual size extra large. Probably fits more like a large, but it is 80s. 1987, dated at the bottom there. Crazy, crazy piece. From the movie or the game? From the movie, yeah. From the movie, big graphic too. When I saw a picture of this one, I thought the graphic was smaller, but that's a nice, it's a decent sized graphic on the front so of that. You pulled that out almost last, so it's worth some This one's worth a lot. Money. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The, the last few t-shirts I showed are worth quite a decent amount of money, but they're also just really cool t-shirts. All right, so the last one. Here we go, I'll show. Yeah, I'll show just the tag. It's a size large. Okay, and then I'll show, I'll show just that part. <laughs> you don't know what it is yet? I don't. Oh, now I do, I can see it. Yeah. Oh, it's the dog when he puts the mask on. This is my favorite mask t-shirt. My favorite one. It does not have a back, just the front graphic, but wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I've never seen that either. 
So cool. And it is licensed at the bottom down here. Let's see if it's dated. Yeah, dated and licensed at the bottom by Stanley DeSantis. So it's not on the Stanley DeSantis tag, but it is licensed by Stanley DeSantis. So. Super cool, crazy shirt. So yeah, this shirt's probably worth a couple grand. And there you go, guys and girls. That's everything. Hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. Uh, we have a few other vintage t-shirt unboxing videos, but let me know in the comments if you want me to keep doing this. We're still buying vintage t-shirts in bulk all the time. I just haven't been making like full length videos um, because you know, it is time consuming. I try to show you just the highlights of it, but today I wanted to take you through everything. So I appreciate you all watching. Thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in any of these t-shirts, you can DM us on Instagram or you can wait for a wholesale drop on the vtgroots.com website. So thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. I'm Ryan Roots. Peace out. See you on the next one. Bye.